Hockey Game 3 tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific time on ABC. Uh, story of Game 2 was Phoenix's offense. So what do the Aces have to do defensively to counter what the Mercury were able to do on uh, uh, the other evening? Yeah, I think we just have to really be locked in defensively uh, in our, dif our defensive schemes. Um, and, I mean, obviously we just have to – change up a, a few things, but I think it's just being locked in. Um, you could tell from the beginning of the game that we weren't, so I think it's just uh, just really focusing on that. And what about the team's offense? It actually, they've statistically been pretty good the first two games, but what other things would you like to see out of you, maybe specifically, and the rest of your teammates heading into the game? Yeah, I think it's just going out, just being aggressive, uh, playing with confidence. Um, we scored, what, 90 points last game, so we know we can score the ball, but I think the biggest thing for us is just playing good defense and uh, getting defensive stops. Um, we know at the end of the day we can score, and so the biggest thing is just making sure we're playing really good defense. Historically, since we've moved to Las Vegas, three-pointers have been a key to playing against no, the sir. Phoenix Mercury. You guys both still in the – yeah. The oh, you're talking yeah. already. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right. Uh, still for you, Jack. Uh, three pointers. When Phoenix makes ten or more three pointers against us, they're seven and one. They're one and five when they make fewer than ten three pointers. So what's the key on the perimeter defensively to keeping them from hitting a, a large number of threes? Yeah, I think it's just making it tough for them. Make sure we're in their space. Uh, make sure the posts are up. Um, really, just knowing where the shooters are. Um, we know that. They're all capable of knocking down threes, and so we just have to make sure we're there whenever they do get the ball. D is somebody who's asked to guard sometimes all five positions throughout the course of a game. Is there anything unique to how you need to defend when you have a team that plays so well out on a perimeter? Uh, just knowing who's on the floor, knowing personnel, um, knowing the scout, locking in on certain players. Um, but for me personally, just doing whatever I do, hard. Team's offense, we asked this to Jack, the team's offense have actually statistically been pretty good the first two games. Uh, what do you think you need to do in game three? And what have they been doing maybe that's led Kelsey to be able to go off and they to be able to go off mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, that's maybe how uh, that they're defending against you guys? The yeah, they're not, they're not leaving our post players. You know, we have two of the best post players in the world. So uh, they're probably honed in on them. It's kind of like saying, hey, let the guards go to work and we make sure we limit Asia and Liz. Um, so finding a way to get our post players back involved and get them more involved in the offense. And then how do you stop them? You know, it's an easy question to ask, but that those tough starts that we've had the first two games, it's easy to say you need to come out yeah. a little more aggressive. But what is it sort of, what do you have to go through to, to get more aggressive? Uh, it's just a mentality. You've got to have a sense of urgency from the start. Um, can't start games like that, especially against a team that has those kind of players uh, and talent. Um, so just be honed in from the beginning and find some sort of motivation early on. Thank you, ladies.